In this video, I'm going to be showing you the critical settings that made my FPS and the FPS of others go from around 80 to 90 to up to 200. But make sure you check out all the settings in this video as they all can have a pretty sizable impact on performance. Anyway, let's get into it. Alright, before we make any more changes, you're going to want to set up a Windows Restore Point so you can go back if these changes mess anything up. And to do that, you search Restore here, go create a Restore Point, and just click right here, Create. And you can write a description, like um, Rust Optimization, and it'll create a Restore Point later. Alright, now for the Windows settings. First of all, we want to enable GPU scheduling. Type in Graphics in the search bar, and you'll see right up here, Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. This setting is great for lower end systems, as it makes sure that you're getting the most out of your graphics card. So definitely turn this one on. And then close out of that, and type in Power Plan. You can see right here, at the top, you want to click on Power Options, and you want to make sure it's on high performance. By default, it's usually on Balance or even Power Saver. And this will make sure and this will make sure a PC isn't limiting your hardware to save power. And doing this can greatly improve performance right away. Alright, next up, we have game mode. We just type game mode into the search bar again and turn that on. Windows now is optimizing itself for playing games and this can help FPS for sure. And then after that, go to Steam, go to Library, click on Properties, Local Files, Browse, and then a directory at the top, just click it one time, Control c to copy it, or you can just right click copy it, close out of that, close out of Steam for a second, go back to Graphics, press Browse here, put it in the top so it's in the Rust folder, click Rust Client, and then go to Options, and you want to make it high performance, and this is going to help a ton. Alright, well that should be the end of the Windows settings, and now let's move on to the NVIDIA settings. Now, NVIDIA settings are really good because um, they directly affect your graphics, so they can make a great deal of difference in performance and FPS, so right here, click on NVIDIA Control Panel, open that up, after right clicking Desktop, go to here, adjust image settings to preview, you want to make sure it's on use the advanced um, 3D image settings, and then after that you can either click on manage 3D settings or just click here. Now a lot of this stuff like here, anti-aliasing, you want to make sure that's off, anisotropic filtering. I think by default that's on like 8x, so make sure that's off. All this stuff here, and pretty much make sure it's all off. Gamma correction you can leave on. Anti-aliasing mode, make sure that's on application controlled so that Rust can actually control it. So in-game you can um, use your settings to adjust whether you want to use anti-aliasing or not. But I know people um, prefer it and some people don't. And then apart from that, go to um, Q to GPUs. Make sure that's using your graphics card of course, it should be. But just make sure, go here. Low latency mode, make sure that's on. I wouldn't put on ultra just because I've heard bad things about that with um, stability. And then max frame rate, you want to make sure that's off. Um, you want to go down here. Power management mode, prefer maximum performance. Refresh rate, like preferred refresh rate, make sure it's highest available. And that should be pretty much it. Make sure threaded optimization is on auto. And triple buffering off. Vertical sync on fast if you have um, screen tearing issues. Now if you don't have any issues then I wouldn't bother with this setting because it's pretty much um, only useful if you have screen tearing, which I do so I keep it on fast. And keeping it on fast compared to on, make sure that you don't lose any um, latency. Because if you put vertical sync on just regular, um, just on, it can actually affect um, latency quite a lot and make your mouse feel kind of laggy so putting it on fast doesn't cap your FPS, it keeps your FPS um, uncapped and it'll keep your latency quite low. That's pretty good. So just apply all that, and then once that's all applied, that's it for the NVIDIA settings. Alright, the next thing to do, open up your Steam again, go to Properties, after right clicking on Rust, and see Launch Options right here. You want to go to the description, and copy that, and paste it in here. And now you see where it says CPU Count and then Threads, you want to go down to Task Manager, go to Performance, find your CPU, and right here, Cores, 14, um, Logical Processes, which is um, Threads equals 20. So you go here where you paste it in, go all the way to the right, and make sure that matches exactly what yours says. So you wouldn't want to put um, 14 and 20 if you don't have my exact CPU, so make sure it's accurate to you by opening up Task Manager. And then the other setting you have to check is memory. I have 16 gigabytes of memory, 
and right here it says maximum memory 14,000. That's 14 gigabytes, just a little less than my max. Because if you want um, Rust using all your memory, it can cause issues like Chrome loading and stuff like that. So it's a little less than your max by like um, two gigabytes or, or so. So 16 gigabytes put around 14. Eight gigabytes put around like um, six or even seven. And yeah, just go on by that. After that, you want to actually launch up Rust so you can actually change the um, settings and stuff in game. So go ahead and do that. All right, now that you're in game, go to options. Go to the very top options again. Um, all this stuff is pretty much going to be personal, apart from max gives. You can set that to zero, and also nudity. If you really want that extra little percentage of FPS, then make sure that's on underwear, because um, I'm pretty sure Uncensored has like more stuff to render. It's a more intricate uh, model. Pixelated has to render like a bunch of pixelation for a new character, so your underwear should be the best. Go to user interface. Everything here is pretty much personal. Same with audio here. But speaker mode, you can set it to Pro Logic, and this actually helps a lot with um, 3D audio and directional hearing. So you can probably better hear um, enemies using Pro Logic, especially um, in my personal experience. So that's again personal, but I'd really recommend Pro Logic. Back to controls, everything here is um, entirely personal, so don't worry about that. In screen resolution, to set that to the highest you can pretty much manage. If you're very CPU bound, then you'll find you might have to lower your um, resolution to get more FPS, but pretty much um, for more high end gaming PCs or even medium range gaming PCs, you can probably set your um, resolution to at least 1080p without affecting FPS really at all. In mode, you can pretty much use um, full screen or borderless depending on what you need. If you have multiple monitors, I'd recommend borderless because it prevents you from crashing and stuff like that. And alt tabbing um, is much less likely to crash you and make your game freeze and whatever if you're on borderless compared to exclusive and I haven't seen exclusive get any more FPS. Some people say it does and maybe on lower end PCs it may so um, test it out and see for yourself if full screen's worth it or if you like borderless more. FPS limit set to zero. And now FPS limit in menu I'd really recommend turning that on because a lot of the time when you're in the menu your FPS jumps up to like um 400 500 and it uses up a bunch of processing power for no reason pretty much. We don't even need it, so it can make your PC hotter. It can use up power for no reason, so pretty much just um, turn on limit FPS and menu and it should be good. Now in graphics. Graphics quality, I'd set to around 4 for like a lower end to mid range PC. And for a high end PC, I'd set it to 6. Um, render scale, you can pretty much mess with yourself. Um, I don't really like the way it looks when you put it lower. Cause it makes everything kind of blurry, so pretty much... If you're on a very low-end PC and you really want to get the most FPS, then um, I'd mess around with the render scale to see if that works, but otherwise I'd leave it at 1. DLSS really doesn't do much. Shadow quality, set to 1. On 0, um, you're just going to get these really harsh outlines of players and shadows, so I'd set it to 1. It doesn't really affect FPS really at all, and it makes it look a lot better. Make sure you have no cascades on, means that you can actually see a lot better. You get more performance, and it may look a bit weird, but... I actually reckon it's like a competitive um, advantage because you can see a lot better if you have it on zero. Max shadow lights, make sure that's on zero. Water quality on zero. Um, water reflections on zero. Shader levels set it to 250. This will make the ground look a lot smoother. You'll be able to see people a lot better in game and it doesn't really affect FPS at all. Draw distance, set it to the most you can so you can see faraway hills and you can see drops and stuff like that pretty easy. Shadow distance, set it to 50. Anisotropic filtering, parallax mapping, set it to lowest it can be. And now I'd keep grass displacement on, just so if you're looking for a gun, when you displace the grass, it makes it a lot easier to see it because it pretty much moves all the grass away from you. It makes it look um, very bare, so you can actually find um, items a lot better in grass. So I'd really recommend that one if you can handle it. Grass shed is off. There's no real point in having it on anyway. And reflex mode, turn it on. And now for mesh quality, make sure everything's at zero or as low as it can go, like 10. Apart from object quality and tree quality, turn those both up to 100, and it should look just like this. Now image effects, make sure everything's off, um, apart from like sharpen, it's optional. And anti-aliasing, you can turn on to whatever you like. TSSAA, I reckon looks the best in terms of anti-aliasing, but you can also just turn it off and it has a very sharp look to it. In experimental, I just turn on optimized loading. They, move, may, they may move it to like um, graphic settings, but for now it's here, and I turn it on partial. And that should actually help you load in much quicker. I think around 20% faster. 
All right, and last of all, I wrote like a very cheeky little um, bind that you can set in game. And it'll actually help FPS a lot by clearing cash. So basically just um, bind, type bind in the F1 console. Type whatever key you'd like to bind it to. I set it to O. Type in some um, quotation marks. Do GC dot collect. And then that should be good. Once you've set that, I've already set it, so I won't do it here. Um, you press O or whatever you set it to and it'll clear the cache and you can see your FPS actually noticeably increase. I actually made a whole video about this trick before so I thought I'd just chuck it in here to help you guys out. But anyway, that should be it for this video. I think I've showed you every single trick that I know in making your game run better and hopefully it works for you guys. So yeah, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. See ya. Sorry, funny. Just...